total. With his first wicket. So the debutant bowls the debutant. Tremlett gets his first wicket for England in one-day international colours. And Sharia Nafis ends his first innings for Bangladesh. Playing off for Tech. Good delivery. Extra bounce for Chris Tremplett. And uh, the debutant, as you said, counts for the... He's played uh, 27 one-day internationals. Averaging under 20. Strike rate of 63. Best of 65. Tremlett has plenty of both. Gone first ball, I think. Yeah, thin edge through to the keeper. So Tremlett is on a hat-trick now in his first one-day international. He's got two Sharim run out, caught behind for North. Tremlett uh, taking uh, the second uh, wicket off in two balls, picking up a uh, two Sharim run for a duck. So he goes back for a duck, it's 30 for two. So two in two for Chris Tremlett, who's already had a hat trick on this ground. Playing for Hampshire against Nottinghamshire. And he again. Best of 100, that was the other day against Australia. Doesn't come much better than that in uh, his career. 51 matches. A wholly different set of circumstances face him here today at Trent Bridge. Two hat tricks at England in one day internationals. One for Steve Harmison here last year against India and Jimmy Anderson against Pakistan at the over. And Mohammed Ashraf, the hero for Bangladesh on Saturday in Cardiff, into face the hat trick ball. Chris Tremlett on debut has four slips waiting for a nick and a leg gully. One of the most attacking fields you'll see in one day international cricket. And the cover fielder has come in as well. Can he pick up his hat trick? We'll soon find out. Here he comes. Oh, so close. I think he might have even hit the stumps. That ball might have just dropped on top of the bales. The bales haven't dislodged. And Ashraful is a lucky man and Tremlett's unlucky. That is basically un oh my god it did hit on top of the bales and the bales are still there look at that oh that's what i call luck well i'll tell you what he'll never come any closer to getting a hat trick than that he's actually hit the bales and the bales have stayed on the stumps